How's it going, everybody? It's Nova, and welcome back to another episode from the Cake Core server. It is episode number 11, and, uh, yeah, excuse my voice and habits and mannerisms throughout this episode, because I am sick. Yeah, I, uh, it, it's kind of annoying, because I took a break from working on videos for about a week or two, and then I come back, and I get sick. So, yep. Had a, a couple of days where I was just low energy, and then I guess after a while, woke up one morning and uh, I was sick. And I'm not gonna gross you guys out with the details, but if I happen to cough or <coughs> clear my throat or sneeze during this episode, I'll try my best to edit it out or to make it, you know, somewhat bearable. But uh, please forgive my uh, disgustingness. But at least I wasn't sick in the last episode when Caesar and I did base tours of each other's bases. And we kind of had separate videos. So in my episode, we focused on doing the base tour of his base. And in his episode, we focused on doing the base tour of my base. So I will probably put both links in the cards above to my previous episode and Caesar's episode. Or I might just put mine in the, in the, in the link above and then... Caesars in the description below. We'll, we'll have to see what happens in post-production, but you'll be able to find links to, uh, you know, those videos and the channels, obviously, in the description, whenever you guys check there. And uh, we also have a, uh, a little chest here from, from Patnat that I uh, forgot to check last episode. This was actually here last episode, and I still haven't checked it. I'm just kidding. I, I totally checked it. I just kind of left it here because I didn't really know. Um, it says items from crash now this happened a while ago this happened like probably during the like the start of my break uh somehow i was on the server for a bit and i was just doing some like i guess some afking or stuff like that and you know the server somehow crashed and it wasn't like due to any of us it wasn't due to the server itself it was due i guess from the company and uh yeah like uh, he had to re like all, all of everything and all of our inventory is like all the chests and stuff was gone so pat had to restore it to uh like november like the beginning of november or something like that which thankfully since most of my break was in like the beginning of november it didn't really affect that much but i did lose a little bit of diamonds and i told him that this is how much i I think this was how much I lost, and I lost three mending books, and then this is just some other stuff that I, I put into, uh, you know, the chest because uh, I had to get, you know, stuff out of my inventory so I could go and do the the tour, the, the base tour, uh, in the previous episode. So uh, thanks, Pat, for that. Also, I totally forgot we were at spawn and we didn't check, or at least I didn't check, on camera. The, uh, the, the the care package. Uh, so we didn't even check. We, we paid for the care package for November. And I think the care package for December is actually free. So I think before we start with uh, what I really wanted to do today was the Guardian Farm. Uh, we're going to go and head to spawn and check on our mail situation. Because, I don't know, you know, that's something I would definitely like to bring back with me. So, I think my mailbox is the pink one. I should have been the orange one, but I think Bombastic is that one, so he beat me to it, I guess. I don't know if at some point we were supposed to pick our colors, but I think Pat just chose the colors in, in general. Let's get into the post office. Um, we can't really place any orders for this month because, well, we got them all for free, so... Uh, probably, I guess, have to work on it next time, but let's see what we got. Oh! Okay, here's the November care package. Oh, that's so cool. He gave us a sugar box as well. What? And then this is magma blocks. Okay. So. Yeah, that looks like to be what everyone else got. I'm just spoiling everyone else's uh, stuff. Oh, wow. Alton has a lot of stuff to, uh, to pick up, buddy. Oh, but he... Okay, so I guess this is the first care package where we're actually getting a shulker box full of it. I see. Oh, that's so cool. So now we have a shulker box. Let's see what's in this shulker box. That's it? Oh, mending books as well. But it's just a bunch of stuff. Uh, is that the same for everyone? Yeah. I should. I didn't even... I, I was just super excited that uh, I had the... We had a shulker box. I didn't even really read that it said just stone. 
But that's cool. Um, it's always nice to have stone. It's not like I uh, already have a silk touch pickaxe and have loads of it already. But you, you know, uh, at least we have a lot of stuff that we could break into cobblestone if we need to build like some pistons or dispensers, or droppers, or you know any other type of redstone variant thing. So I am thankful for that. It is December anyway, so I guess I should really. I'm honestly more thankful for the shulker box uh, <laughs> than the stone. I mean, it, there was mending books too. I'm not gonna lie, pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, the, the shulker box is a is a real big help. I'll uh, I'll drink to that. So uh, it has been some time since the last clip. Uh, as you can tell, I'm still a little bit sick. But basically, the time in between this clip and the last, I felt extremely horrible. I don't know what happened, but somehow. I just got even sicker, I felt like I was in my, my whole body was in pain, and I just, all I wanted to do was sleep and eat soup and drink water and do more sleeping, and so I kind of had to put off uh, recording, because, well, my health is quite important, and uh, <laughs> without my health I wouldn't be able to record videos, so obviously that's a priority for the channel. But I think it's been like, what, two days or so? So now I'm back. I'm still obviously a little bit sick, just dealing with kind of the aftermath of the sickness, you know, the coughing and the throat stuff and the blah, 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 whatever. But I should be good to go, and I'm back to, you know, kind of just doing the stuff, you know, in, in the episode that I wanted to do. And while I was doing it, well, I was uh, doing a lot of mining because we need a lot of mining. I mean, we need a lot of iron. We do need a lot of mining to get iron because we're going to need it for the hoppers. For uh, the chest system, the chest storage system in the, uh, the Guardian farm. And I was doing a lot of my iron looking for down in here. Uh, as you can tell, I've uh, definitely made a lot more progress on my branch mining. And uh, yeah, we kind of hit kind of hit a waterous ravine, a watery ravine. Um, and not to mention, I kind of looked it up, and it's not really as feasible to look for iron in a branch mine. So what I did was I just kind of went, went off to the birch forest, where I got all of the wood for the, the first amount of storage chests for the uh, storage system. And I kind of just found a cave, and in that cave was so much amazing stuff. It was, it was, I don't know what that was, but it, it was, I don't even know, it was, it was like this huge cave that kept going, there was like six bazillion mine shafts in with it, and uh, this is what I got from it. Look at all that stuff. So, I mean, I just kind of put this down there. I just kind of organized this stuff like this so that it would look a little bit better, but uh, this is exactly what I got. So, I mean... I even found a lot of diamonds. I almost had a, found a stack of diamonds. It's crazy. I had to leave because I had this November care package shulker box that I was storing a lot of the stuff in, and basically the rest of the iron came with me. Uh, as you can tell, I obviously didn't get a lot of redstone and coal because I stopped mining it after a while. Uh, this is all the lapis I found. I found more than two stacks of gold, and I even found some gold ingots and some golden apples, which is pretty awesome. I even found an emerald ore. I almost passed by this guy. I was just like just walking by. And I, I can't tell you how many spawners I found, who obviously I found a lot of spider spawners in the mine shaft, but I did find one skeleton spawner, I think, that had a sweeping edge three book. So I was like, you know what, I'll take that. So uh, first things first is we are going to smelt up all of these iron ores right now. Uh, at the moment, we only have nine uh, furnaces right here, and no, we don't have a super smelter just yet, so we'll probably need to work on that at some point. Although... We could probably just work on an iron farm that would solve our iron problems but uh for now we're just going to have that smelt up and we're going to use that to craft up all of the hoppers that are needed for the storage system in the guardian farm so after getting those 15 stacks of ingots i have made about almost three stacks of hoppers and that leaves me with about a little bit more than two stacks of chests that we had previously so I'm not really sure how much this will hold, but we still have a little bit of iron left. It's basically right here. But as you can tell, all the other stuff is missing because we have this little bad boy right here. And uh, yeah, we kind of made a mountain of stuff here and we're going to uh, 
this is just coal and redstone but we're going to chop this down and in the process i'm going to be healing up my silk touch pickaxe to begin with so i guess what we could do is you guys can guess how much coal and redstone i'm going to get from this if you guys just pause the video and go into the comments below and post a number uh you guys will hopefully be right and maybe you'll win something maybe not either way you're gonna get bragging rights that you got it correct and uh definitely a like or a, a heart from me in the comments section so let's get started All right, now that that time lapse is over, get ready to compare answers. Yeah, that was a lot of coal. I don't know exactly how much that is, but you guys can count, and this is the amount of redstone, and there's actually a second chest, so if you guys want to count that too. If you guys got it correct, uh, I'll uh, heart your comment, and uh, yeah, good luck with your guesses, I guess. But now it's time for us to head on over to the Guardian Farm and start crafting up some more uh, chests and start placing them down. And then we'll probably just go and gather up some more wood so that we can make as much chests as we need for the entire Guardian Farm storage system. So we now have some more chests. It stretches all the way down here. That was the a little bit over two stacks of chests that we had before. And in terms of hoppers, we actually almost got pretty close to filling up the entire uh, amount of chests we had already with hoppers. We start, actually I think, we only had enough up to here. But we finally got some here and it goes all the way down, all the way down, pretty far down, to basically, yeah, the, the end and there's a little bit uh, left over from here. So. That's the extent of the hoppers. Now, that's that's actually a lot more hoppers than I thought I was going to be able to need for this. This is kind of almost halfway, and it is a, well, probably right here would be halfway for the chests. So really, theoretically, all we would need is as much wood to make enough of these chests and enough wood and iron to make uh, some more of these hoppers. Now, I think I'm going to have to complete the hopper kind of like part of it in another episode, but I'll be doing some work in behind the scenes. But I think the best thing that we should do right now, because we actually need to go get a lot more wood, is get enough wood to make all the chests so that they go all the way to, if you see over there, to I guess right here. So essentially that's what we're going to go do. We're going to go and do another time lapse where we chop down a big forest. We'll probably go back to that birch forest that I was at previously. And we're going to make sure that this whole place gets filled up. Because at least that'll bring some sort of completability. I don't even know if that's a word. To the build. You know, I mean, I like that word completability because it's like, it almost sounds like it's two words. But it's like the completion of or with something using your ability. I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> I, don't, I just make up words randomly sometimes. I find it's very creative, but you know what? It, it, it just sounds nice. So we're going to try and complete this because uh, I, I really want to see this place look, you know, like pretty cool with, uh, with chests, be littered completely with chests. And so after the chests, just to give you guys a rundown of what we have to do after this, I think all we need to do to finish the Guardian farm 
is obviously get the hoppers in place after getting all the chests. Then we have to decorate the ceiling and walls to get rid of the hideous uh, soul sand block. And I have some ideas for that. And after that, all we need to do is sort of reformat all of the little entrances and stuff into area. Because this is going to be where we, uh, we go into kind of everything. At the top we'll get here. And then there's the middle where those storage chests are right here and then at the bottom when we go here is down into the xp grinder section so that's what we're going to be doing and also the little uh what should we call it the little tunnel that i'm going to be building which will start on this island up here that will allow you to walk straight into the the guardian farm without having to swim down and try and get under you know like get above that soul sand without getting pushed up. It'll probably go off this way, and then it'll make a curve, like, literally, like, down into into it from this way. Actually, I gotta figure out which side that is. So it, it depends on where it's gonna come in, I guess, but it's just going to lead to the top part of it with all the storage chests. That way, there will be some sort of uh, mechanism that allows you to go from the top of it, which is inside the Guardian Farm, where the storage system is, down into that smaller little area where there's going to be more like storage of blocks that I'm making from the drops, and then down to the XP part section, which is towards the bottom. So let's go get those trees, because we really need the chests, and I will see you guys after the time lapse. I have taken out a lot of trees from the birch forest. I think uh, it stretches like all the way past here. I mean, this whole area used to be covered with trees. Wow, like I really, I really went a, a long way from the shoreline over here. I mean, wow, like this whole area used to have trees and now it's pretty much gone. And if you check them out my inventory right here, uh, obviously I have a full inventory of birch logs, but I also have a full ender chest and one full shulker box. So that should be more than enough for all of the chests that are needed for the storage system. Let's head back to the base and craft these bad boys up and start placing them down. Wow. Um, okay, so that created a lot of birch planks from all those birch logs. I don't even actually remember how many stacks I had, and I don't have a, a full stack here, mainly because uh, I used a few to <laughs> make a few chests already. So now what we can do is uh, we can just uh, grab, actually, let's do, let's try and make this as quick as possible, because I love uh, trying to do that. I love trying to make things go smoothly. Um, we could try something like this. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be crazy. Oh, I can't even see the crafting table. There it is. Okay. So now I guess we just uh do this. Wow, okay. Uh let me try this. 
one eternity later. Wow, yeah, this is gonna take uh, a long time. I will get back to you guys when I'm done with this. Yeah, I probably could have crafted that a little bit better by not breaking all of the chests, but maybe just breaking one of the chests at a time and just getting them out of my inventory. But the amount of chests that I got from all of that wood is these stacks right here and then a whole shulker box full of them as well. So I think I am going to play another time lapse of me just, you know, oh God, it's going to be such a weird... And this is a weird episode. It's got like three time lapses so far. I mean, that's just crazy. But uh, I this is going to be an episode where we're doing a lot of different things. And I mean, to be honest, it kind of warrants a bunch of time lapses. So let's get started. Wow, that looks so awesome. I mean, look at all this. That's crazy. All right, so we finally have all of the chests in place. And I was going into the back of it. As you can tell, I took out a few chests to get into the back so I can count how many hoppers we need. We need 360 more hoppers. Uh, we also have a fairly decent amount of chests left, which is actually probably good because we're probably going to need as much as we can get uh, for all the different hoppers. And... Sadly, I forgot about the uh, this the conduit over here, so uh, I'm going to have to move this at some point. I had to kind of just ram right through it and take out the conduit. Um, not the conduit itself, but part of the base of it, so we don't really have conduit power much anymore. But it's fine because I'm going to relocate it to probably just like right here. But uh, 360... Uh, hoppers, jeez. Oh my god. Uh, and that's not the entire... That's not the entire uh, thing. That's just from here to the other end of it. And looking at 360 hoppers in the mirror is uh, pretty much like looking at 28, around 28 stacks of iron ingots. Uh, I think we got 15 stacks from our trip to the that cave over there. I did actually find a few more caves when I was uh, over by that birch forest. Uh, chopping it down so I'm not sure if those caves all lead to the same area but maybe I could find some more iron and find a lot more caves you know in those areas but uh yeah that's gonna have to that's gonna have to be done in another episode because I mean I'm, let's just say we need 30 stacks I mean, I'm just gonna round up a bit and say we need 30 stacks so basically just take our last trip and times it by two I don't think we're gonna fill that up because we're still we've been here for a little bit and we really have not gotten that, that much. I don't know how many guardians are. Yeah, they're still flowing in. Um, maybe there's a back. Oh, I know there's a backup. I. Oh. Oh no, I I forgot about that. Hold on a second. Oh wow. Okay. Yep, there's a backup. I. Oh, I for. I didn't turn these back on. Oh god, that clicking, that clicking sound. I'm gonna. Let's turn that down a bit. But yeah, I didn't turn these guys back on because. I was down here just, you know, healing up my pickaxe, I think, from the last mining session, and I just didn't really like the clicking, so I decided to, uh, you know, turn that off, and I forgot to turn it back on. So we might have a couple of more double chests full, but I honestly don't think, I mean, I mean, actually, we could probably just, you know, if we have four double chests here and four double chests on the other side, that means that we have, I'm guessing, eight more. You know, so we have like kind of like maybe up to here, but really it's not going to be that big of a deal because we're not going to be spending, you know, that much time uh, over here. We're just going to be kind of AFKing overnight, but, you know, I mean, it's it's whatever. We, we can really focus on getting uh, the iron later, but, you know, I kind of also really just want an iron farm and I've never actually built an iron farm. So I think that that's a good idea to build one in a while. <laughs> it's just going, it's just going crazy. I kind of want to get rid of some of these sea lanterns so that we can actually have a glass behind there so we can see all the items flowing around. I think that would be really cool. But with all that being said, this is the end of the episode. If you like what you watch, click that like button. And if you want to see more, 
definitely subscribe. See you guys in the next episode. Oh.